Beach Chalet employs a full bag of architectural tricks to conceal and reveal, hide and display. My primary influences are Japanese and Scandinavian architecture and interiors, and also the super efficient use of interiors within yachts and caravans and the inbuilt joinery that goes into those. My name is Matt Reynolds, I'm an architect and I make a lot of sawdust. I'm also the founder of Matter Studio and I focus on architecture, interiors and furniture as well as art. And this is my apartment beach chalet. This episode is brought to you by our book, Never Too Small, Reimagining Small Space Living. 30 projects that will inspire you as you look to transform your own space. Now shipping worldwide from the US, Europe and Australia. Beach Chalet is located just up the hill from Bronte Beach and is on Gadigal land of the Eora Nation. The building was built in the 1970s and comprises 16 units, four studios and 12 two bedroom apartments. I built a shed down in my carport prior to starting this renovation so that I then had an area in which to build everything myself. I learnt all of my carpentry skills from my dad and then employed those with my architectural background to create Beach Chalet. The apartment was quite run down with a tiny hallway leading to a dining living area with a small kitchen beside the hallway. There were also two bedrooms and a rather tired bathroom, all of which were lacking storage and no laundry. So I always had to do my washing downstairs in the communal laundry. I changed the floor plan by demolishing the wall, separating the kitchen from the entry and removed the shower bath to make room for an internal laundry. The remaining spaces were adapted through the use of multifunctional joinery elements. As you enter the apartment, the front door houses a small art gallery. In lieu of the previously confining entry hallway, I introduced a genkan, or a Japanese space in which people enter the unit, sit down and remove their shoes. The seat also folds down, revealing long-term storage. The open plan living dining space is a multifunctional space it also features plenty of display areas, including a floating bookshelf. It wraps around all of the walls in the living room, as well as every other room in the apartment, and acts as a device to bring the whole apartment together. Both elements of the two-piece couch are mobile and can be reconfigured to become a queen-size bed or two single beds for guests. They can also turn around to become a bench seat for the dining table when I have eight people over for dinner. The pegboard wall is a sliding panel that opens to reveal the TV as well as more display shelves and slides to the end of the apartment. The home gymnasium is concealed behind a curtain. The dining table has an end dedicated to working from home with plenty of power and USB outlets. I designed and built the suspended brass and Tassie oak light fitting and it can be dimmed and changed with colours to suit my mood. The cook's kitchen has plenty of preparation space with full size appliances, an integrated dishwasher the cupboards above the breakfast bench are finished in a gloss black perspex to match the drawers and doors below the bench. The overhead cupboards on the window side are finished with clear perspex to allow the light to shine through from the window and through the glassware. And I've maximised storage everywhere I can find it. Beach Chalet has two bedrooms, the larger of which serving as the main bedroom. The raised platform has hidden long-term storage as well as easily accessible drawers. A wall of joinery provides a wardrobe, drawers and cupboard space for clothing. The mirrors on the wardrobe and at each end of the bedroom bounce light around the room and create a sense of more space. There's some hinged panels that block out light from a window above the bed. 
The pegboard wall allows plenty of flexibility on how to arrange artwork. The second bedroom doubles as a guest bedroom as well as a storage room for all my sports equipment. There's a built-in desk that folds down to allow the two single sofa beds to pull out when guests turn up. Like the main bedroom, it's also on a raised platform with skinny drawers that recede back underneath the platform. The bathroom was reconfigured by removing a step-in bath shower and replacing it with a full-size shower, which allowed me the room to introduce an internal laundry with a separate dryer and washer. The ceiling's made of western red cedar to evoke the sense of being in a sauna when the steam hits it. A wall of mirrors bounce light around the bathroom as well. The balcony faces east towards the ocean views with a small garden of succulents and palms. I've also recently introduced a vertical herb garden to help feed myself and my guests. In response to the need to reduce the size of Australian homes, Beach Chalet is an example of smaller, smarter design. We need to reduce the amount of impact on landfill, on green open spaces with new development in Australia. And if we can repurpose existing apartment stock, then that's a better use of our built environment. Thanks for watching. If you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com slash submissions.